Hey there, so today we have another video. Um, just did the battle beers, and I got a little secret for you guys. So, you guys obviously see a hunter and all this stuff, but guess what? That's a sticker. And I have a little surprise for you guys. I pull out the wine key, little wine key for that. Okay. So, this is not, this is a, a, a sticker, or not sticker, but it's a label, a wrapped can. Underneath, is a little surprise for you guys. What is this? <laughs> what is this? This is Mad Tree Phantom Force Juicy Imperial IPA. Out of, uh, where are they out of? I think I've reviewed, uh, I, I, I've been sent beer from Mad Tree before. Way out of uh, Cincinnati, since so another Ohio native. So that's the uh, that's the seven uh, seven seven week old batch. New news. Let's find something for you guys here. I should have done this on camera beforehand. All right. And I've done this to about three different batches. Uh, sorry, I've found about three different cans before now. I, I believe the newest batch I have, which is even newer than this or a different, like same date, has another Mad Tree beer. It's called Mad Tree, right? Yeah. What's this guy? Quirk. So this doesn't hit my market, even though it is from. Why is this, this is the slowest review? Guy, Darwin, come on, let's go. Uh, what is this? Hey, 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 hey. There you go, there you go. You guys see it now. Boulevard, Boulevard. So this is Quirk, their Key Lime Coconut Hard Seltzer, 4%, which sounds terrible. Um, Yeah, I mean, I, it might actually taste, it might honestly taste good, but I have no clue. Um, you guys are probably curious, what the hell is going on? Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um. The, I mean, I'd have to, you know, you'd have to reach out to breweries and really give you an opinion, you know, the true story about this. But from what I understand, an educated, an educated guest, let's go with that. Um, I only have so much confidence in it. Um, this is a great example of two brands that died. So in order to, um, so like, first off, this is a full can, right? Printed, like you had to get the company to that made um, these, uh, well, well, whatever, somebody printed onto the can. In order to do that, you can't just like, hey guys, like we have a, you know, blah, blah, blah size brewery. We're going to produce, you know, 24 cans at a case. We're going to produce uh, 200 cases, right? Or let's say 100, yeah, 100 cases. That's a good amount of beer. Uh, 100 cases. We need 240 cans produced with this, you know, um, you know, design on it. Yeah, the can company's gonna laugh at you. They're like, no, we will not do that. Uh, you need to order a lot. You need to order a whole truckload. I don't know the minimums. You know, I, 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 I don't work back of house like that or have worked for a brewery a back of house that has had these issues. But yeah, the company's gonna laugh at you. It's like, no, you, if, if you, you can do this, you know, or you can do a sticker can because, you know, obviously we know a bunch of hazy IPA brewers, a good portion of them. Um, you can throw in a sticker all you want. I, hell, I've worked for breweries that do sticky sticker, sticker, Hazy IPAs and kettle sours and all this stuff. Um, you want to print a can? You're gonna have to order a truckload or like X many. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess in the thousands or tens tens of thousands. So now I got all these cans, and I'm producing products, and maybe that uh, that product doesn't uh, do so well. So now you got all these cans. What do you do with them? You you you're, you're not gonna make the cans are only worth so much. What are you gonna like? force it down people's throats like hey i have this beer like i have all these cans i gotta sell it like blah, blah, blah. you're not gonna produce a beer that doesn't sell right so now i get stuck with all these cans what do you do with them they obviously have value um i actually don't even know the pricing i, I believe the pricing is something like depending on like your volume and, and and what uh obviously like the higher volumes you order and you know whatever contract you have and buy, purchasing power you have um i believe i was just listening to a podcast i think it's like somewhere around like 17 to 23 cents um per can so now they sell value. So what do you do with this guy? I guess you as a brewery can do what they did and like Mad Madfree could have wrapped their own cans in another brand and just sold it. Or I guess you off offshoot it to a brand like Fatheads that could 
you know, buy cans at discount because, like, you know, I assume now you have to. First off, is something on my nose? I'm like, I feel like I, I do. I thought something was up, guys. I look like an idiot. I look like an idiot. Yeah, there you go. I'm like ripping apart this can and stuffs all over my nose. It looked like it. Anyway, um, so you, you gotta all. You, I guess you offload it to fatheads, and fatheads will buy it. You know, penny on the penny on the seventeen cents, or you know, like they'll they'll purchase at whatever price, and then they get to put it. You know, wrap it on it, and then now they have cans that they can use. The one makes sense is this is from Cincinnati, Ohio. This is from Boulevard, but then in Boulevard is ginormous. You know, Boulevard is owned by uh, Duval, uh, which has uh, Firestone Walker and Omega. Gang. And um, they come from all the way from uh, the, the, the St. Uh, St. Louis, right? Can oh, sorry, Kansas City. Kansas City, yeah. Kansas City. So, like, so now they got infinite seltzer cans of a brand that I guess didn't work out, sent it all the way to Fatheads to, to buy. That is my educated guess. No, don't, don't take that as gospel. You know, it could be another story. Maybe these two brands are just crushing it, and I don't know why. But and maybe just Fatheads just really needs cans, and they have a lot of these cans. I'm just guessing. But that would be the most best educated I could get. Like, you know, why would you sell your cans if you reprinted them and had them all, you know, like to get rid of them, offload them to Fatheads, I assume is because the brand just did not work. Or maybe not the same value. Maybe they sold 50% of the cans, but they still got 50% less uh, left and got to get rid of them. So that's a really fun trick you could do. You got any fat heads out there, uh, peel off the label and find what brand is on there. Because it's really weird. Like, right, I'm, it says Quirk, Boulevard, Coconut Lime. And I'm like, that is one of the best IPAs on the planet. <laughs> Until next time, cheers later.